Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 98 and we are going to talk about leadership that gets results. An idea in practice would be our concern. This article is written by Dan Goldman and the Dan Goldman is arguing that without the emotional intelligence, the leaders are incomplete. When we talk about six leadership styles, the first one is the coercive style. And all of these styles would be discussed in terms of the leader's modus operandi, the style in a phrase, underlying emotional intelligence competencies, when the style works best, and overall impact on climate. These are the concerns, jin concerns mein hum in six leadership styles ko wo abhi go through karenge. For example, jab hum coercive leadership style dekhte hain, to the leader's modus operandi would be that the leader demands immediate compliance. The style in a phrase, jo ke brief karega ke coercive style mein hoga kya, that would be do what I tell you. Underlying emotional intelligence jo hum yaha par dekh paate hain, that is drive to achieve initiative and self-control. And when we talk about the style which works best, it says that in a crisis to kickstart a turnaround or with problems, employees. So, un problem employees ko tackle karne ke liye, jo coercive style hoga, that is appreciated. Jabke is coercive style ka jo overall impact on climate hum dekhenge, overall impact on culture dekhenge, that would be negative. Jab hum authoritative concern mein cheezon ko visualize kare, to authoritative style ke case mein, leader's modus operandi would be mobilize people towards a vision. Or uska jo style in a phrase agar hum elaborate karne ki koshish kare, to that would be come with me. Jahan pa collaboration ko emphasize kar raha hai. Iske saath saath, jo leadership concern mein emotional intelligence competencies hume nazar aati hai, in case of authoritative, that would be self-confidence, that would be empathy, change catalyst. Or jab hum uske style ko best context mein dekhe, to we come to know, Okay, when changes require a new vision and when a clear direction is needed. Authoritative style ka agar hum overall impact on climate dekhe, to us virut mein kaha jata hai ke that is most strongly positive. Iske baraks, there are other styles like affiliative, like democratic, pace setting and obviously coaching. Jab hum affiliative ki baat karte hai, to leaders modus operandi would be create harmony and builds emotional bond. Agar hum isko ek sentence mein elaborate karein, to that would be people comes first. Yahaan par agar hum emotional intelligence ke concerns ko dekhein, to there would be empathy, building relationships and communication. And when we talk about the style which is best suited in case of affiliation, to it is said ke to heal rifts in a team or to motivate people during stressful circumstances. Us surat mein affiliative style is the best one. Agar hum overall impact on climate dekhein, to that is positive which is good. Democratic leader ke case mein, jo leaders modus operandi hai, that would be forges consensus through participation. Agar hum usko ek sentence mein elaborate kare, to that would be what do you think? Aap uski rai ko wo fokiyat de rahe ho. Emotional intelligence ke case mein, collaboration, team, leadership and communication jaise jo factors hain, wo humare saamne aayenge. Jab hum style works best ki baat kare, to to build buy-in or consensus or to get input from valuable employees, these are the concerns just make a democratic leader ka style is the best suited one. And the overall climate created out of this would be also positive. Likewise, jab hum pace setting ki baat karte hain, to pace setting ke case mein, the leader's procedure of, operation, of being operational would be sets high standards for performance. Or agar hum usko ek jumle mein elaborate kare, to that would be do as I do now. Or us surat mein, emotional intelligence ke jo factors humare saamne hai, they are conscientiousness, drive to achieve and initiative. Yeh wale major ingredients hai, jo emotional intelligence mein hum forecasting ke case mein dekhte hai. When the style works best, agar iske upar baat ki jaye, to it is said to get quick results from a highly motivated and competent team. These are the pace setting aspects jahaan par iski zhrurat hume maximum hoogi. Lekin overall climate jo pace setting se tay hota hai, it is taken up as negative. Iske baraks, agar hum coaching style ko dekhen, to coaching style mein develops people for the future, aur wahaan par because the leader is acting like a coach, agar hum usko ek sentence mein elaborate karein, to that would be try this. Because wo ek option create kar raha hai, ke jo cheezen sikhai gai, unko agla shaks execute karke bhi, wo dekh sakhe. 
Likewise, coaching ke case mein it is said ke developing others empathy and self awareness ye emotional intelligence ke main components, main competencies hume available hongi. Ab kahan par coaching style would be more feasible? Uske baare mein kaha jata hai ke to help an employee improve performance or develop long term strength, these are the aspects jahan par hume coaching style jo hoga, wo zarurat hume uski hogi. Or overall jo ek environment create hoti hai out of the coaching style that would be positive and that is highly appreciated. Dear students, jaisa ki abhi humne dekha ke different leadership styles hain jisme ke different tarah ka emotional context wo available hai. Ab chahe wo affiliative ho, democratic ho, pace setting ho ya coaching ho, aapko emotional intelligence ke different ingredients ki zarurat wo har waqt hogi. Ab agar hum is sari baat ko conclude kare to ek organizational facility mein लीडर किसी भी कॉन्टेक्स्ट में ऑपरेट कर रहा हो इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस इज ऑलवेज विद हिम और हर और इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस से रिलेटेड उसकी सेल्फ अवेयरनेस सेल्फ रेगुलेशन एम्पथी मोटिवेशन एंड सोशल स्किल ये तमाम तर वो चीजें हैं जिसके बगैर एक लीडर इनकम्प्लीट वो रहेगा थैंक यू